Hi guys, Serena here from the interior of my car. <laughs> I'm out and about on a walk, uh, but I just stopped to share, to say hi and to share some knitting that I had brought along with me. And I thought I would update you from within my car because it's a good sound space. So I think you can hear me. <laughs> Last episode, <laughs> I shared uh, some wool, some yarn, and you know the light's a bit weird in the car, so we've got bright sun just outside, which is quite nice. Anyway, I shared those two balls of wool. Oh, here they are, yes. Uh, they're both sock yarn, and I think they're either King Cole or West Yorkshire Spinners. So one or the other, uh, don't know where the ball bands are, so there we go. <laughs> Anyway, look what's happened. Ha! Huh. We've got a little sock bag going on. How cute is that? <laughs> and as you can see, it is a helical knit. One of my favourite ways of knitting. So I cast this on with a Turkish cast on here and I cast on eight stitches. Then I increased and I have got 34 stitches on either side. So. I'm using a 2.25 millimeter needle. Uh, I'm putting it here because here it's a bit too sunny, which is what I'm supposed to be holding. Oh, I can hold it here. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> right, okay, so I'm using a 2.25 mm millimeter needle and I've got 34 stitches on each of the needles. So I've halved basically the work onto each side and then I'm. So these I. I think are sock needles, no, but they're the Addy ones and they are my favourite ones to use as well. So favourite needles, favourite way to knit. Can't go wrong. <laughs> yeah, so I'm really happy with my progress so far. Uh, this top bit where I t cast on and increased, um, I used just this pink ball to start off with. And then once I'd finished increasing, I added in the other ball. So that's where the helical part started. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> There's a few distractions outside. <laughs> Just to let you know. <laughs> okay, so that's one project that I brought along and I've been knitting. So I just wanted to go over exactly what I had done with the sock and here as you can see I have done a cast on uh, over the two needles and it's a Turkish cast on and I'm using the King Cole slash Woolcraft slash West Yorkshire Spinner yarn here because uh, I don't know the actual name, lost the ball band, but I'm using this variegated yarn and I'm starting the sock with the yarn. So the other colour will be added in later as a helical. And yeah, so the initial cast on is over the two needles and then you knit into each side, increasing to make the toe. And yeah, you only need to cast on about eight to 10 stitches. Here I have now got it to a cute little oval point. I've increased and each row I've increased uh, four stitches um, for, uh, let me see, about 10 to 12 rows maybe until I've got the required number of stitches. Bubbles is helping as usual. Now here <laughs> you can see it's looking more like the toe area. Um, like I said, I've increased and I now have the required number of stitches to just knit plain. And I'm going to knit the helical part with the blue yarn, blue variegated yarn, which is definitely a King Cole yarn. And to knit a helical knit, if you like, with two colours, you knit a colour and then three stitches before the next colour you slip those stitches and carry on in that colour and that way you don't get the jog 
and if you uh, don't quite get what I'm talking about I will uh, you know visualize that at some point for you <laughs> but yeah here so I'm just doing a slight bit of knitting just to show you what's what <laughs> yes. maybe I should speed it up but can't be bothered <laughs> Come on, yay, there it is, looking good already. And voila, this is where we are up to at the moment. So we've got a little sock bag, Bubbles is happy. What more can you ask for? <laughs> it's that time of year. Socktober is here once more. Not that I did last year, but um, <laughs> this year I'm hoping to do a Socktober pair of socks. Now I don't want them to be too pumpkin-y, but they may be slightly pumpkin-y because of these colours. But we do have some nice autumn-y colours as well. And I might add some other ones as we go along. So watch this space for episodes of pattern and all things to do with sock. So I love the Malvern Hills and I often travel down for walks, etc. And I had a really nice opportunity to be part of the community and part of the St. Peter's Printmakers art group <laughs> uh, who are exhibiting at this lovely church which kind of overlooked some of the landscape right on a hill and there were some very talented printmakers here and I myself a uh, humble painter as it were occupied this little corner and this was home for a couple of days over the weekend this was way back in August and I did take along my, my project, which uh, wasn't a sock project, no, it was my beanie hat. And I had, I felt, got quite far. <laughs> uh, and I was up to where I might start decreasing. So, and actually, wait a minute, yeah, I, I did decrease, I did start decreasing actually. So, yeah, uh, that was my nice beanie hat made with the Falklands and Lyocell yarn. Anyway, uh, back to the printmakers, and there's some really great printmakers here, so enjoy, and I'll meet you on the other side <laughs> when I talk more about my beanie hat. Yeah, so I really enjoyed myself at the fair. 
Uh, apart from doing some knitting, of course, met some lovely people and, I don't know, just a lovely community setting. So I really enjoy that sort of thing. Um, here on my beanie hat, I did start to decrease and how I did it was, it was every 10 stitch and then every ninth stitch, then every eight stitch, like that. So you get this kind of pattern as you go along. And hopefully that will be finished soon and I'll be able to show you that on the next vlog. <laughs> my uh, artwork was looking uh, very nice too, actually. <laughs> anyway, hope you enjoyed that. So previously we did, I showed you how to put the yarn in here for this glove and now we're going to flip and put the yarn in this side. So the first line or rather half the line <laughs> half the row you're going to knit as normal in pattern so remember you've done all this you've gone up to here you've done these rows and then the next row is going to be a um, in pattern row and we are going to so we've already got a flap on this side so we need a flap on that side so right So like I said, you knit half the row in pattern. Got some city noises in the background. Oops. Fun if you like the city. Oops. Like a mad scramble to get to the end of the row. <laughs> Right, so I've got 42 stitches on here, so that I've knit 21. Right, so the next row is going to be me knitting in the waist yarn. Sorry about the needle noises. Like chalk on a chalkboard. <laughs> Here's our waist. Oh, where is it on? There it is. <laughs> That's our waist yarn. So, yeah, you just knit it in. Leg so. Oops. Oh, hang on. Dropped one. Okay, we'll pick it up in a minute. It's always good to know how to pick these things up. Right, so we've got that done, but we've dropped one, so we're going to pick that up in a minute. Uh, but what we need to do now is we need to be able to knit this yarn uh, and do the, the pattern on this side. So we'll have to put all this, these stitches back onto the other needle. So we turn it round and we're just going to slip them. Flip them on, like so. Right, uh, this is the one we dropped, so we'll pick that up like this, pop it on our needle there, and then we'll just 
grab a yarn that we and it was a from this angle it's a pearl so we're just going to purl it around now I didn't leave much of an end which is probably why it came off so that's not a good idea but it doesn't matter it is waste yarn and we'll be taking that off later anyway turn the work round oops sorry about that and continue knitting in pattern oops That stitch really just does not want to be on a needle. Try again and fix it. Right. I'm holding. <laughs> so that's my bad actually. So when you do this, make sure you have a longer tail. That tail is not long enough. Right, so now we're going to knit in pattern. Arrange your fingers once again. Right. That's a knit, I think. Oop. Okay, let me just sort this out. <laughs> right. Let's try and sort that out. Yes, this is like a lesson. <laughs> Leave a longer tail. Right, I'm really going to hold that there so that it won't come out. Start knitting. Right, there it is. And if we pull on the tail, there. That's it. So I've pulled here on that tail. Oops, sorry, wrong, wrong colour. So I'm knitting in pattern. Make seal. Oops. Yeah, just carry on knitting in pattern. Right, so there we are. So this is one thing to think about when you're knitting gloves. You need two, um, you need two hands. <laughs> yes, there we are. So obviously we've still got to knit this up and we're gonna knit here. So once you've got your waist yarn in place, you just need to knit up in pattern until you get about here. So the pattern will tell you when to stop, as it were, and start decreasing. And then you start decreasing for the round mitt area. <laughs> okay. Wait, I think, I think that explains it somewhat. Anyway, I'm gonna come back in a minute when I have knit or a second, it's going to be a second on this, but obviously in reality it's probably going to be half a day for me. <laughs> right, see you in a minute. Right, so I've knit some rows from here in, and I'm going to start decreasing by just decreasing one stitch on either side to begin with, and then there's a bunch of decreases that I'll be doing there in the pattern and then I'll be binding off so to show you how I'm decreasing here I'm just so this is a plain row I'm going to be decreasing on and I'm just going to knit two together and that's sort of this side and then when I get over here I'm going to knit those two together so let me just show you Oops. 
Yeah, so the decreasing is just standard knit two together, to be honest. Oops. this side two together and in this instance it's on the plain row <gasps> oh God, made a hole in my finger <laughs> not very clever And do this ultra fast. <laughs> Not as fast as it could be. Yeah. Right, there we go. So that's how we're decreasing, and I'll be back when I finish that. <laughs> and then we're just going to kitchen a stitch that off at the top. And voila, it will be two gloves. Oh, actually, we haven't done this. <laughs> okay, so once we've done that, then we're going to do this. That might be in the next bit, the next episode. We shall see. See how far we get. The glove is nearly done. So here I decreased every second row for I think two two times over four rows maybe and then I decreased every row. And on each row I was decreasing four stitches. So the first decrease was one stitch either side, then it was four stitches, so two to this side and to the other side. And that was for two rows with um a row of non-decrease in the middle and then it was decreasing every row until we got to this many stitches which is how many stitches have we got count them <laughs> two four six eight ten so you should have two four six eight ten yeah so that's that's one of the stitches that should be on this side so yeah so you've got 20 stitches left here yeah i'm just going to bind that off and then next bit will be knitting this rib area. So we're going to pick up these stitches and knit the rib. So that'll be next time. <laughs> right, so Kitchener stitch. The back stitch is as if, first of all, the first stitch is as if you are purling. And that stitch comes off like so. And then the next stitch, the back stitch, next stitch, <laughs> is as if you're knitting and that stays on okay the next one the front is as if you're knitting the first stitch and then it's as if you're purling so that first stitch comes off and the second stitch stays on so you're always doing something with two stitches seeing where bubbles is Let's try that again. So the back stitch, the first stitch is as if you're purling, that comes off, and the second stitch is as if you're knitting. The front stitch is, the first one is as if you're knitting, and the second one is as if you're purling. Yeah, and you should get quite a nice finish there right anyway I'm going to finish that up and then I'm going to be doing this and this so probably that first and then that 